Hey, how's it going? I hope you're doing good. So I went to Atkinson's again today and got some donuts. And first thing I noticed is that I've been back a couple times. They haven't had very many donuts. And today they were, um, they were out of donuts, uh, not out of maple bars and chocolate bars, but they were out of the, uh, the glazed donuts. And the first thing I noticed is that they're a lot smaller. So let me get a napkin real quick. I can show you the, uh, the donuts. The ones I got earlier this year, when it was colder, they were a lot bigger. These are a little bit more standard size donut and uh, just a lot smaller. So I bought an extra donut. Instead of getting two, I got three. And you can see here, they're, they're smaller donuts than what they were um, earlier in the year. So they don't have that big uh, fluffy shape to them. And uh, I don't know if they're, I mean, they, um, I, don't, I don't know how they're gonna taste. They, they may have a little thicker of a dough consistency. I'm not sure. So I'm gonna try this one. And It's good, it tastes about the same, except it doesn't have that big fluffy dough flavor. That's what I really liked this summer was that sort of that big fluffy dough flavor. But um, but these are still pretty good. It seems like it's the same, same type of dough. Just smaller. Oh. Today is the game five of the NBA Finals, the Celtics and the Warriors. And I want to make a prediction, but I don't want to make a prediction. <laughs> it's hard to know, you know, who's going to win. I feel like, I feel like if I make a prediction then it'll like it'll it'll be wrong or it'll like change the outcome or something you know like it totally i guess you could call it jinxing but for me it's more than jinxing um i have a little bit of mental health i've had mental health problems in the past and uh so part of that is that you think that you'll have an over an overarching or overreaching impact on things that you can't really control anyway. So some of it has minor, minor truth to it, but some of it doesn't have that much truth to it either. So it's hard to know and I can't really break it. It's sort of like if you bet on a horse race, like uh, if you've seen in some of the movies, like the grifters, when she bets on the horse races, the odds change. And so if the odds change, you know, technically it might not change how the horses race, but it may also change something about the race. And so the same is true for like a prediction or, um, you know, a bet on a sport or something where, you know, you feel like, you know, you're going to, you're going to, you know, if you say who you think want to win, they won't win, you know. And so when I had, uh, you know, um, trouble with medication and stuff, um, you know, you, that, that takes on a whole new, a whole new like uh, dimension or whatever. So, you know, you start thinking, oh, I can't say this or I can't say that, or, you know, I can't say what I want to eat or whatever, but some of it's true, you know, all that sort of strategy and, and, uh, you know, uh, you know, subtle art of communication, people obviously don't want to reveal uh, you know, what they want to do or um, they don't want to reveal what they want because people automatically act, uh, you know, an opposite to that. So, but that whole ideation. So I'm not going to make a prediction and uh, 
I'm just going to sit here and eat my donuts. And sometimes I can't even watch the games, you know. I feel like I can't watch the games. I start watching them. There's too many breaks or, um, oh, that was the other thing I was talking about. I feel like, and I don't know whether this is true or not, and that's the whole like, you know, sort of ideation thing. It sounds like when I watch sports, professional football, NFL, uh, NCAA, uh, maybe not all, all, all sports on major networks, it sounds like there's a soundtrack of hooting and hollering or cheering that's added to the broadcast that's not actually in the stadium. So, you know, when I watch the football, right, I hear a lot of like, uh, it almost sounds like it's a military drill camp or something where they're, um, you know, you know, grunting and cheering and stuff. And it doesn't sound like it's actual football players on the field that are doing that. And it's sort of a, a low, a low band of sound throughout the whole, throughout the whole game. Um, I also feel like there's some of that with, um, with basketball and soccer and baseball. And so it sounds like it's a, it's a recording of people making sort of sport type of sounds. And then they add that to the broadcast. And so it's more difficult for me to watch some of the broadcasts and stuff because I just mute it or turn it off. And a lot of times, you know, the, the, the crowd in the audience isn't, isn't really, doesn't look like they're, you know, communicating or cheering the same way that that sort of low band of sound really sounds, uh, for the broadcast. So. I don't know if they add that to it or what, but it's uh, it's a little bit distracting, or it doesn't it kind of takes away from it. So, and then um, and then I've stopped watching cricket because cricket seem. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy. I don't want to say everything gets ruined, but um, like a couple years ago, I had ESPN Plus. I was watching it and. I could watch cricket for, you know, a few hours and it was sort of, you know, a quiet, calm afternoon of watching cricket. Um, it wasn't in the U.S., it was outside the U.S. And it was sort of fun to watch. Um, and then now what's happened is they've added commercials just sort of like every time somebody throws. I don't know really the rules of cricket all that much. I guess they're called balls. Um, but, but, uh, just, you know, if somebody gets a, a, a wicket, not a wicket, but like, a um, a four or a six, sometimes the, they just break to a commercial. And so, um, you know, they're, oh, there's a six and there's a four and now it's going to commercial. And then they sort of go to the commercial and then it comes back. And I'm sort of like, you know, it's not like a lot of, you know, like basketball or football where there's a timeout or there's a free throw or something. The only thing I could really relate it to would be if um, if as soon as there's a foul, there would be uh, an ad in basketball, and then you would sort of miss one of the free throws or something like that. So I don't know. And then the other things I notice in sports and stuff is sometimes when I watch soccer matches, um, they seem to be live here, but... Uh, they don't seem to be in a reasonable time in Europe or the, or or the UK in Britain, because I try to do the time change from you know Mountain Time or Pacific Time, and it doesn't seem to be like there would actually be playing at that time, like eleven at night or midnight or something. And so, if you go on the internet, the internet looks like it's time to the broadcast. But uh, but it, it just doesn't make sense to me that anybody would be playing at that time. So um, a lot of the matches that used to be on at six in the morning or five in the morning here, I don't I don't know that they're still on ESPN Plus anymore. Sometimes I don't wake up anymore like I used to. But um, these noon, you know, or one o'clock uh, Champions League uh, soccer matches or eleven o'clock here in Mountain Time. You know, as I don't know how many, I think it's like uh, seven hours ahead in Britain or something. 
And uh, I just wonder, you know, if anybody's still playing at that time. I guess they could or they couldn't. I don't know. And the other thing I notice is that on some of these, it seems like the, the time, the actual seconds to the clock don't actually run at actual seconds. So they run at either a little bit faster because of a, of a, of a, a television advertisement and a delay. So somehow they, they speed up the broadcast or something uh, because the game has already been played or something. And so the replay is a little bit faster in the times in each second of the clock that goes by. So, um, so those are just some of the things I've noticed over a while back. And I, I don't know if there's any way to change them or fix them. And I don't know if you can, if they're actually true or not true. Uh, but it makes watching sports a little bit more difficult. So sometimes I just turn off the game. I don't watch it as much and decide not to watch it. So anyhow, I'm going to keep eating these donuts and I hope you're doing good and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.